right, today we're going to learn or we're going to talk about してあ、blah blah, あげる、てあげる、てくれる、てもらう。So, て form, verbs て form, plus あげる、くれる、もらう。As helping verbs, 助動詞ですね、助動詞。So, last time we had a look at、uh, these three expressions あげる、to give, くれる、to give as the, a different person as a subject. And もらう to receive.、Uh, for example, the,、uh, from 私 to 友達。私から友達へ。From myself to the friend, あげる I give you. And another to give、uh, from the other side to,、uh, to me or to the person, the, the speaker. You give me. Or in other words, I am given. The subject is the, the other person. くれる Uh, uh, Morau, that's the、uh, I receive. I receive.、Uh, and then in this context today, blah, blah, te ageru, te kureru, te morau, that's not the、um, direct object or some things that you know,、um, moves around between me and friends. But this time it's、uh, more like favor or Uh, an action on demand when, when you ask them to do something or when they ask you to do something, when a person asks someone, somebody else to do something.、Uh, in these situations, we use a、uh, te form verbs plus ageru, te kureru, te morau. So instead of things like chocolate or the present or、uh, the actual things,、uh, we talk about. A favor or actions or some service and these things. <clears throat> friend. For example, Watashi, I teach English to the friend, and the friend teaches me Japanese. Well, this situation. In Japanese, Nihongo de Watashi wa tomodachi ni ego wo oshiemas. I teach the friend. English. But in the、um, uh, te ageru form, Watashi wa tomodachi ni ego wo oshie ru becomes te form, oshie te and ageru and mas form, agemas. Watashi wa tomodachi ni ego wo oshie te agemas. And then the other way, so the friend、uh, gives you a favor, does the favor to you. Or I received a favor from the friend. Tomodachi is a subject. Tomodachi wa watashi ni nihongo wo oshiemas. Tomodachi wa watashi ni nihongo wo oshiemas. As in the, a neutral statement, as in the, the standard sentence. And then when we use te kureru, te morau, because the receiver、eh, is. Watashi. So, this sentence will be in the two different ways of saying using kureru and morau.、Uh, the first one, tomodachi wa watashi ni nihongo wo oshieru, te form oshiete, kureru, mas form kuremas. And then,、uh, morau, brava, te morau. That will be the receiver, will be the subject. So, Watashi wa Tomodachi ni Nihongo wo Oshiete Morai Mas. So, Watashi wa、eh, the first one, the very first one, Tomodachi ni Ego wo Oshiete Age Mas. So, the favor goes、eh, to the friend from me. I teach my friend English. Or,、um, You could also say, I teach English for my friend as a favor. So it's more like you're doing it for, for them, not just as a neutral statement.、Uh, I, teach the friend, I teach my friend English. But it's more like、um, as a favor, I, I teach them English. Tomodachi wa, the second one, Watashi ni Nihongo wo oshiete kuremas.、Uh, my friend teaches me Japanese.、Um, and it's receiving. The favor. And more like、uh, the third one, Watashi is a subject. Watashi wa tomodachi ni nihongo wo 
教えてもらいます。Um, I have my friend teach me in the Japanese, but it could also be I receive a favor of my friend teaching me Japanese. So,、um, there are these three differences when you say、uh, uh, this favor coming from me to the friend or fr- friend to me. So, these、uh, three different ways of saying, How do we say, for example,、uh, I cooked or made Japanese dishes? 私は日本食を作りました。It's just a statement, right?、Um, I just did. I just cooked the Japanese dishes. And then when we focus on this, blah, blah, してあげる how do we say for my friend? So there are three ways of saying. 私は友達に日本食を作りました。So you just add 友達に to make it clear that for my friend. After the subject, 私は友達に日本食を作りました That's also fine. That just works as well.、Uh, and you can also say using てあげる私は友達に日本食を作ってあげました作ってあげました、hmm. And the third one, you could also say when you make it very clear that it's for them. 私は友達のために日本食を作ってあげました。Hmm. So,、um, when it's very neutral, that the 私は日本食を作りました。Just as, you know,、uh, describing what happened, what you just did,、uh, you can add the nuance that the,、uh, you did that for, fr- for the friend.、Uh, for example,、um, especially when a verb Doesn't call for any object. Nihon shoku o tsukuru that can be added at tomodachi ni to sort of like object uh, or the, uh, the, the person or you're doing that for. But for example, kaimono ni iku to go shopping, soji o suru to clean up, or shukudai o suru to do some homework. These verbs wouldn't need、uh, any object. So, in these sentences, especially, it works the best with using, by using, nan, blah, blah, no tameni,、uh, to specify what you, just, what you did for a specific person or a, a people, or when you, when, you, when you make it clear. So, that、um, helps as well. But you have to be careful when you、uh, use this, blah, blah, te ageru. It gives some impression that you, you just, you know, you sound like I generously did that for them. So it just sounds like it could sound like,、um, well, praise me what I did, or they asked me to do it. It could give that impression. So normally, when you give the favor, when you do a favor to other people,、um, maybe the first one, Watashi wa tomodachi ni nihon shoku tsukurimashita. Will be the, the, the safest one to say. Otherwise,、um, if you say, Watashi wa, the second one, third one, Tomodachi Nihon Shoku Tsukute Agemashita, maybe there, there should have been a demand, there should have been a need, or it was necessary to do it, it was like、um, requested. So those kind of nuance. Otherwise, you just did that for them, like, hey, look what I did. <laughs> And those kind of nuance. So when we talk about blah, blah, ageru, We have to be a, a bit careful、uh, that you wouldn't sound like pressuring to sort of like to praise what you were doing. But in general, in general, I mean, it's just you know, for friends or for maybe younger people, for children, for your family members, you, you, you use this all the time. So it's good that I did that for them as a very casual nuance. Otherwise, you know, when you mean it to be a bit mean to. I did that for you, nuance. <laughs>、um, as long as you don't do this, I think it's fine. But it's, I think, personally, I would think it's the, especially when you don't have、um, enough close friend,、uh, relationship between the, the speaker or the person you're talking to,、uh, maybe the best to、uh, uh, start with this, the, the first neutral one. Right. Oh. So, how about、uh, てくれる 
てくれる。えー、the other way around. So this one, I cooked or made Japanese dishes for my friends. So how about my friend cooked or made Japanese dishes? 友達は日本食を作りました。Uh, as a, a neutral statement. How do we say for me? They did that for me. Well, this one, uh, again, uh, three ways to say this using te kureru. The first one, tomodachi wa nihon shoku wo tsukuru te from tsukute plus kureru. Mas,、uh, and past tense,、uh, kuremashita. 友達は日本食を作ってくれました。That works already fine. That they did that for you or for me. Or you could also say, 友達は私に you just added 私に to,、um, to, to specify that that was for me. So you could also say this, 友達は私に日本食を作ってくれました。The last one again, using no tameni. It's like for me. Tomodachi wa watashi no tameni. Nihon shoku wo tsukute kuremashita. You could also say this. Well, again,、um, just like the ageru version. Kaimono ni iku to go shopping, soju wo suru,、uh, to clean up, or shukudai wo suru, to do homework. These words can be also working the best in combined with no tameni, so that when you want to mean that that was for me or for somebody else. But this time, te kureru, te kureru, when you say this, It just sounds sweeter. So I would recommend that you do, you do this when you,、um, when you talk about some, someone did something for you. Because、uh, when you say, tsukute kuremashita, adding watashi no tameni, or there's like the, the second or third one makes、um, your expressions or sentences like, oh, I'm grateful for that. So. Um, especially in our culture, this is,、um, I think it's very important that you show gratitude, you're happy about their doing that for,、uh, for you. So, in these cases,、um, personally, I would think it's,、um, it's a better way to、uh, start with the, the second one or third one. So, when you say, Tomodachi wa nihon shoku wo tsukurimashita, it just the first one, the very first one, the basic one, it's like just, just you know, telling the truth what happened. They, they just did. They just did. But if it was for you, if, we, if it was、um, especially only for you, it'll be very sweet to say, Tomodachi wa watashi ni nihon shoku wo tsukute kuremashita. If you're happy about it. Tomodachi wa watashi no tame ni nihon shoku wo tsukute kuremashita. I think that this expression makes you look like even a better person, I think. <laughs> right. And then, Te morau. Te morau. So, what would be the difference?、Uh, so, kureru morau is more like receiving.、Um, uh, for example, tomodachi wa nihon shoku wo tsukurimashita. The same example for me. Using te morau, how do we say this?、Uh, in this、uh, situation, in this context, the receiver will be the subject. So, Instead of tomodachi wa, that was the friend who did the favor.、Uh, instead of them,、uh, watashi wa, the subject. And this subject can be skipped or dropped.、Uh, and then you have to be careful with this tomodachi ni, like by my friend. So tomodachi ni, nihon shoku wo tsukute moraimashita. Tsukute moraimashita. Right. So、uh, in English,、uh, I would say, I asked my friend to cook Japanese dishes for me. So it's a receiving a favor of、um, they're making、uh, Japanese dishes for you. But it gives the impression that you asked them to do it, or as a favor, they did that for you.、Um, You could also say, this is the same thing.、Uh, tomodachi wa nihon shoku wo tsukute kuremashita.、Uh, this is the same action a friend of yours has made or cooked Japanese dishes. It's the same fact. But if you say, tomodachi ni nihon shoku wo 
作ってもらいました。The first one, that would be、um, they did it for you as a favor, or maybe you have asked them to do that for, for, the,、uh, for you.、Uh, and then the second one, 友達は日本食を作ってくれました。So they did it for, for me or for you. As, as just a, a, a state, statement, or they, they did that for you. You can't really tell that you asked them to do it.、Uh, they just you know, did that for you because they liked you, or because they, they just they were grateful for whatever you have done to them and stuff. But here we're talking about、uh, the particle. So when, the,、uh, when we use morau,、uh, the subject will be watashi wa. And then、uh, the giver. The favor giver will be followed by ni, tomodachi ni,、uh, okaasan ni, otoosan ni,、uh, and then morai mashita will follow. But the,、uh, the second one、uh, followed by wa tomodachi wa as a basic、uh, subject. But for example, tsurete、uh, iku to bring someone somewhere.、Uh, this main verb. We'll still call for this watashi wo, this particle. So this particle will remain the same,、uh, although we use this kureru at the end. So kureru, morau, ageru, that wouldn't、uh, affect the original verb's uh, uh, particle. So、uh, in this case, watashi wo party ni tsurete itte kuremashite. It wouldn't be、uh, watashi ni as in. Watashi wa or watashi ni,、uh, when we talk about kureru, morau, ageru. So, this, in this case, tsurete iku, the main verb will take wo, so it will remain the same. So, that's something we have to be careful. Right, the last two, two times before, we talked about rareru, saseru, sasereru. I hope you remember, and especially causative ones, saseru, to make somebody do something.、Um, we had actually look at the,、um, this example. The girlfriend makes lets the boyfriend eat chocolate. This sentence. Kanojo, girlfriend, kanojo ga boyfriend, kare shi ni choko, chocolate, choko wo tabe saseru. The girlfriend makes or lets the boyfriend eat chocolate. And then we talked about、uh, if we put, if we add te ageru, te kureru, te morau after the main verb, tabe saseru, to make or to let eat somebody, something. And this will make、uh, the whole sentences、um, to be more like let meaning or like more like a favor. This is what we just mentioned、uh, before. So, when we have a look at this example using actually, ageru, kureru, morau, what would it be like? It will be, or this action is from the girlfriend to the boyfriend. So,、uh, the main or the, the most correct one, the most right one will be, kanojo wa kareshi ni choko wo tabe saseru and te form tabe sase te. Plus, ageru. That would be more like、uh, she will help him doing this. She would just, you know, as a favor,、um, let s him or make makes him eat the chocolate. So this works with ageru. But then we have to be careful the other two with kureru and morau because、uh, this favor, it's the boyfriend who receives. The favor who receives the, the ser- service, or you could say service, or this action.、Uh, you could also say, Kanojo wa, again, Kanojo as a, as a subject, Boku ni choko wo tabe sasete kureru. Kanojo wa subject is fine, but remem- remember the,、um, the, uh, the emperor and queen example. Kanojo wa kareshi ni, if we say kareshi ni instead of boku ni, choko wo tabe sasete kureru, That would be a bit wrong. That would be a bit weird to say. Because, kureru,、uh, morau,、uh, it can be only used when the speaker is the closer,、um, has the closer relationship with the receiver. 
I hope it, I hope it makes sense here. Um, as a third party, as a third person to describe what, what's going on, uh, one girlfriend makes one boyfriend uh, eat the chocolate. That's the first one. The first, kanajo wa kare shi ni choko o tabe sase te ageru. And that's it. That's, that's perfect. That's just the right one. The second one, if we don't replace kare shi ni as a boku, like to myself, or if you, as long as, um, I mean, unless you put, uh, for example, my, my brother or like my, my close friend's name instead of kare shi ni, um, it'll be wrong to say as as we talk about the third um, third people's action. So uh, in this example, I just replaced kareshi as boku so that it makes sense using kureru. Again, the reason, uh, the third one as well, kan- kareshi wa kanojo ni choko o tabe sase te morau. That, that's fine with the kareshi as a subject. But kureru, morau, uh, that's the, um, if we talk about as the third person, as a third party, um, you, have, you have to have the closer relationship with the receiver so that you can use kureru, morau expression. So if we, um, that's the explanation with this tabe sase te ageru, kureru, morau, um, uh, what is it called? The, um, the grammar explanation here i hope it just made sense <laughs> and well as long as you get um, a grip of this ageru kureru morau as a helping verbs that will make the daily conversations way more natural and easier so i hope that helped right <laughs> that's all for today <laughs> Thank you for watching. Otsukaresama deshita. If you want to practice Japanese with us and meet your new classmates, you're more than welcome to join us. Okaeri Skuru.